Finally tonight, there is a Broadway hit that has broken many of the conventional rules of how to make it on the Great White Way. Jeffrey Brown visited the stage of Be More Chill recently and reports why this coming-of-age musical is hitting high notes with a certain audience, even while failing to win over many critics. It's part of Canvas, our ongoing arts and culture series. The stress, the awkwardness, the sheer horror of high school. In the musical Be More Chill, the very unhappy and uncool Jeremy ingests a pill-shaped supercomputer that changes him into a popular kid. Mayhem and magic ensue. The story itself may cover familiar ground, but the story of the musical is anything but. Be More Chill could be creating a new model for Broadway. 37-year-old Joe Iconis wrote the music and lyrics. I was shocked by what happened because it's not something that has ever happened before. In 2015, the play opened in a New Jersey theater and received a less than enthusiastic review by New York Times critic Charles Isherwood. That, thought Iconis, was that. When we closed in Jersey, I thought the show was dead, but I, I thought that because it was, you know. No one wanted it because the way that our theater business works or has worked up to now is that you need that New York Times review if yeah. you're a little show like ours in order to come into New York. But you, you went a different route. You went a different route. But not by plan. The play was no more, but the cast recording of its music, including the song Michael in the Bathroom, became a huge viral sensation. I am hanging in a bathroom at the biggest party of the fall. With its themes touching on the anxieties and pressures of teenage suburban life. It inspired social media memes and fan art, clubs, online and then live performances. To date, the recording has been streamed some 300 million times. Will Rowland plays Jeremy, and George Salazar is his friend Michael. Well, um, a couple of people <laughs> found this uh, album, uh, found uh, out about the show, told their friends about the show, yeah. shared the album. It's like a multi-level marketing scheme in a way. It's yeah. what they sell you. They're like, oh, if you tell five friends and then you tell five friends, then suddenly you'll have a million friends. And yeah, that is literally what happened with this show. With a built-in fan base, the play got an off-Broadway run and then opened in the Grand Lyceum Theater in March. People feel kind of uh, represented by this. And you know, it's a cast of people who look like the people you'd see on the street, you know? It's a cast of 10 incredible actors, incredible singers, and okay dancers um, <laughs> who are representative of, of society, you know? It's not like 10 Instagram models mm -hmm. in a musical. You have people of all shapes and sizes, all colors and backgrounds. And so I, I think the success to the show is, um, you know, is the show. And I think the thing that's really worth noting here is that this is not an adaptation of a blockbuster film. There are no world-class celebrities in it. There are, there's nothing in this that is trying to say like, oh, well, this will get butts in seats. But it does. And outside the theater, patrons told us why. 23-year-old Lauren Hugh arrived early in the morning to buy a matinee ticket and stayed to get autographs afterwards. The thing that I think is really cool about this show is that it's not some big money backer that brought this show to Broadway. Yeah. It's purely the the steam that came through phenomenon of all the fans. I, without the fans, like this show would not be here on Broadway right now. And Miona Williams on a school trip was brought to tears when she saw the actors. I like that his friend came back for him. Even though he, even though he treated him like her. For their part, the critics have continued to howl with headlines like, be More Chill is dopey, shrill, and somehow very popular. And this coming-of-age musical is a real pill to swallow. I think the show is pitched at a very particular frequency, which is to, you know, like some dog whistles, to the ears of people who are under the age probably of, of, of 21. New York Times co-chief theater critic Ben Brantley had some harsh things to say in his review, but also respect for a production that seems to be critic-proof. It's kind of refreshing to have a show for whom critics are absolutely irrelevant. The first time I saw it in New York, off-Broadway, 
I mean, it was like what going to a Beatles concert or a One Direction concert must have been like. I hope this will be a gateway drug for kids who have never experienced theater before and say, hey, I had a swell time. Be More Chill comes on the heels of several successful musicals about teen angst, including Dear Evan Hansen. Will Rowland was an original cast member there, too. But those plays followed a more traditional route to Broadway, where production costs run high and ticket prices regularly top $100. Do you see this as a potential new model for the way theater and Broadway can work, or is this kind of a one-off? I certainly hope it's a potential new model. The idea that a show, a little show, can make it to Broadway because actual human beings love it, not because it has name recognition, brand recognition, that I, that's, I think, a dream. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Jeffrey Brown on Broadway. There's voices in my head.